What's up guys? It's Vox again. I uh, just wanted to add this on to the last video I made. A friend of mine asked me about my Zaw build and it gets some pretty ridiculous numbers so I figured maybe if somebody saw it in the last video they may also be curious as to what build I have. Um, yeah, I'll show that off. This I built myself from two, I believe two of the parts from the uh, I forget what it's called, the ghoul invasion thing that they do in the planes where you get the or I don't think it's the ghoul thing, it's the one where um, was it Plague Star, where the infested come um, and you have to fight a mini Lephantis and all that shit and you get you can get um, infested Zaw parts, so this is I believe two of those parts and then one regular part. I think the grip is regular and then the rest is is that. I don't remember exactly which parts. Um, I wonder if it shows you. I don't think it does. But yeah, um, so it's basically those. I made the one that comes out to be a polearm type weapon. And uh, yeah, I have Bleeding Willow on it. Uh, just basic stance. I like how it works. Um, the prime pressure point, which I still need to max. Prime reach, which I need to max still. Blood rush, drifting contact. Um, you get a little status chance with the combo duration. And then, you know, obviously true, true steel, organ shatter. And then two dual stat elemental uh, status chance mods. So corrosive because it comes base with viral I slap corrosive on it and this thing shreds a lot of grenier infested things like that shreds pretty much everything but especially good at those so yeah his stats pretty good 46.4 percent base crit chance that's with no melee multiplier going or anything 4.2 times crit multiplier pretty good, 36% status, it's pretty reliable at inflicting status and it's more heavily slanted towards corrosive so it strips armor better um, yeah, I'll let you guys see this thing in action real quick so I just loaded up uh, a bunch of butchers at level 155 just so hopefully they'll last for more than two seconds. Um, this thing really shines when you're doing like survivals and stuff like that because you have large mobs you can build up your combo multiplier but what the hell? Oh, I didn't save. Damn it. Sorry about that. Give me one second. Load the butchers in again. Let's see. There they are. Okay. There we are. So, this thing gets crits and orange crits right off the bat. And then as soon as you build up just a little bit of combo multiplier, you start getting red crits. And the numbers are kind of all over the place. You get you saw 10,000, 35,000, 18, 48,000, like... Whoops. You can get some pretty ridiculous numbers. There are two different procs there. This and it has a huge reach, which I know they're gonna nerf pretty soon, so I'm gonna enjoy it while I still can, but yeah, this, these are level 155 enemies with armor. Fifty-eight thousand punch <laughs> like this thing's fucking ridiculous. It might not be worth building now because who knows at some point in the near future they might kind of nerf this with their melee rework. You never know, but if you have the stuff to build it, I would suggest building it and enjoying it while you can because it's fucking ridiculous. I love pole arms, they're my favorite type of melee weapon. And this thing just fucking shreds. And you don't even have to have it out. I mean, I like to have it out so I can block. I suck ass at doing combos. I never really take the time to learn them. 
so I could probably do some better stuff. It has some pretty long sweeping uh, hits in the combo, I think. Better for, you know, if you have huge groups of enemies, you can hit most of them. But, uh, yeah, that is the Zaw build. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.